hundred block takes. This is how many box first appearance on screen. Yeah, so. it was a, a dominating performance to the point of where I kind of question if Shroom will try to pull that Marth out again. I I think it would be ill advised if he went to a Marth. I think it'd be ill advised if he went to a Sheik that people have been talking about. But the problem is I don't know if he really understands how to fight Puff with Dr. Mario. The one thing he really needs to do is he wants a wide open stage. In fact, if he can con Hungry Box into going into Dreamland, that would be the best choice. Battlefield's okay. Yep. I'd rather him honestly go to Dreamland, but he has to work this pill game. That is the only real chance that he has. The other option he has is to meet Hungry Box in a spacing battle, but it's just, it's so hard because it's so easy for Puff to come on top of you and he can just come crashing down with the back air over anything you have. Right. You don't want to jump at him with a full hop there because then you're, I mean a full hop up air because then you're above Puff. Right. And dock down air, even though it cuts through a lot of stuff, isn't so good. And that's one thing Shroom has to watch. He so has to stay in the middle of the stage. Also, if you're going to die from a rest, DI it as early as you can, hoping that you don't get a star KO. You can rush back to the stage and possibly punish. Yes. Even taking a side KO against the rest, Doc can get a pretty meaty punish, but you've got to be ready for it. Yes. Hey, you want to know a secret right now? What? It's guaranteed. It won't kill, but it's guaranteed. You know what I'm talking about. Would that be a uh, down throw to it? You know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. But it doesn't matter because he sniped him out of his jump. Even if he died, that's okay. Hungry Box has been in complete control. Yeah. So, oh, what was guaranteed, doggy? I'm not too familiar with this matchup. Oh, well, not a lot of people are, so I get to keep that to myself. I wish I knew. Yes, but there are quite a few percents where Shroom can get a grab and either get a guaranteed four air, which is devastating to uh, Jimmy Pop, or one that'll kill. And they are lower than you can imagine. Really? Yes. Like Jigglypuff, how low? how low? As low as you could go. <laughs> if, if you're trying to break the bank, it's not going to happen. Well, I mean, I'm really interested. I know there's that question, you know, what percents are safe? Because I've seen people, as we talk about fairs, uh -huh. uh, they go for it at certain percents, and they fail and get arrested before the fair comes out. Yes. It's, it usually that's because they're too slow. One thing that they forget is Jigglypuff is one of the lightest weight characters in the game. So as soon as you throw her, you can move pretty much immediately. A lot of that gets lost in translation like so. That was guaranteed. He just didn't do the turnaround. The Hungry Box actually knows the best angle to DI on a down throw, and it's slightly behind Doc. That is the hardest angle to dunk. But um, I actually lost track of where I was before that. Oh, well. There's a lot of stuff that can happen in this match, but I'm not throwing numbers out there. I'll just throw ballpark figures. Okay. With that being said, Shroom, like I said, is losing the spacing battle horribly. And, it's, if and you that pro game is non-existent at this point, like you're saying. That, that is the only way Doc can fight Puff, is make Puff go where he wants him to go. But if you do that, if you get that started, this matchup is a nightmare. <laughs> back there meets forward there. Chilly Puff was hurting, but it didn't matter. Hungry by taking game one in a convincing fashion, and... I, if Shroom wants to stay Doc, he has to go Dreamland and stay in the middle of the stage. Right. That is the only way I see this working. He could try FD, and there is a strategy that can make, that's a horrible decision. That is actually the worst decision he could have made. Why's that? Because he has no room to move, uh, move away from Puff. He has been getting smothered out by Hungry Box this entire game. And even though he'll get quicker kills, he'll get lower percent kills, all of his deaths has come from, uh, has come from Esgard, so you think that doesn't matter too much. But he has nowhere to run. He is always on the edge. Right. Nice. See, that's what's so bad. If you don't make Puff go where you want to, if you don't control the lane, you think that back air can't come over you. Yes, it can. Nice fight from Nipe up. Nice up smash. And that's the time where up smash will actually kill that's a rare thing to see. When Doc hits a grounded character with an up smash, it has a meteor effect, like a meteor smash. Uh -huh. But when you hit him in the air, it's a full <laughs> low. Waving to the camera, goodbye to Shroom. Triple up air. But yeah, when Doc's up smash hits an airborne opponent, it has a regular effect like Mario. 
Jigs from struggling to get back to the ground because again, that down air versus Jigs up air is not a good matchup. Good to roll away. Oh, he was looking for it. Yep. You know what the funny thing is? Up tilt rest doesn't work on Doc. Never. I wonder if Shroom knows that though. And if, if Jigs missed that, if Hungry Box were to miss that right now, Shroom could about kill Hungry Box. What a rest? Uh, yeah, with a missed rest. Four, four capes and a four there. Ooh, but you might have a saving grace because of the uh, the fly guys on the stage. You can't be so such. Oh, those guys right the there that, yeah. <laughs> that aren't doing anything? <laughs> hey, if you run into one, you can't DI off of them. Yes, you can. And you can't tell where they come from. This actually the random element of this stage. The little cloud you see floating down there, Randall as we call him, he runs on a clock. Yep. He, which is also in tune with that elephant running in the background. Actually, I don't think it is. I always look at a time. It's um, he comes out on four, like four seconds, goes in on nine, evens on the left, odds on the right. Right. Tries to back him up. Sure, double things on the line. Yeah, see, he's just having a hard time putting the beat on Hungry Box. And it's because it's very hard to deal with uh, Jigglypuff agility. Yes. Not mobility, because Jigglypuff is slow yes. everywhere. But Jigglypuff is the most agile character in the air. Yeah, I was about to get a checkup. Yeah, Jigs is so agile in the air that you just, it's hard to space her head to head. Yes. Especially when you have a player like uh, Hungry Box. He knows how to shield stack. <laughs> he also knows how to get dunked on. Yes. But he knows how to shield stack the top of the shield and the low. He was looking for a roll right there. Yes, he was. Crowd's canceled. We got lucky. A, gr a throw would be pretty good for Hungry Box right now. But I mean, if nothing else, he'll throw him to the ledge, like so. And Doc's weak ledge game, he doesn't have too strong ledge out. And the one that Shroom will probably go for is a bad choice in a ledge hop there, if he gets a chance. And this should spell the end of him. Yeah. To O to Hungry Box. Again. <laughs> and he's still smiling. <laughs> Man, I lost to him again. That's okay. I'm still in this tournament. I'm the best. Oh, man. You know, it's really intelligent from Hungrybox. He's one of those guys that helped move his game towards a 